Hi Collective, welcome to my channel, Cosmic Divine Seeker. Hi everyone, so this is going to be a reading for Aries. This is your new moon reading for Leo season, for our Leo new moon. So I thought I would tip the camera so you guys can see that more of the cards. I just did Leo's. Um, it could be for everybody because it's, you know, Leo's new moon, right? But might just be Leo's storyline. I don't know, sometimes it can be collectively... Uh, so many can resonate with it. So if you feel guided to take a looking at, at it, it's there. I'm going to get through as many as I can. So um, you can definitely take a look at more. But it's going to resonate mo most with you, I feel, for your your sun, your rising, and always your moon placements, right? So you can definitely take a look. But it could be North Node, or you could be guided to a reading that's connecting with somebody else, right? You could be gu guided to, like, the cross reader basically reading where um you would be the cross <laughs> watcher um because if you're guided to a reading with you know someone that you're connecting with like say you're connecting with an aries and you have no aries placements but you were guided to this reading they wanted you to see it and this reading is going to be about you know your lover towards you or whatever so feel free to flip the the rules around however you see fit they are just energies, even if I'm referring to like masculine or feminine and you're the opposite, it's energy, so keep that in mind. All right, I don't know why I felt to explain so much. 133 on the clock as they say that. <laughs> Another universal number. All right, let's get into this for Aries. New moon for Leo. What is going on with Aries? So, Eight of Swords. All right, you're coming out of something, Aries. Ooh. Wow, you're stepping into your power for sure here. What this is, is, um, move my camera. <laughs> I always like when I show the mic. <laughs> um, I, maybe that's significant here. Maybe there's a redirection. But see, she's looking in the mirror, right? And in the mirror, she's got the blindfold on the swords. But see, it's like she's looking at herself feeling trapped. I'm getting this energy, Aries. Like, you're looking at yourself and you're seeing how you've been trapped, how you how you have um, created all of these swords surrounding you, and how you're, you know, you're able to get yourself free from the situation, whatever this may be here. So it just requires, like, a new perspective and really looking at something, really seeing something differently here. You do hold the power. I had it separated on the magician and the two of coins. So you could be looking um, off at the distance, right? But uh, there's two there's two coins here, right? You have them behind you. You have, like... Um, you're not taking action at this time or you, you've had this mindset that you can't take action. You've put down those coins. You're not juggling, but they're behind you. It's like you know you have these options available to you, but you're looking off at the future. You're really trying to decide what you want to do, right? With the tower here, there's, um, there's something suddenly, but if you look, she's leaving that tower. She's walked away as that tower is being struck here and the crown is being knocked off here. Um, I'm getting you're leaving a situation. You're leaving it gracefully. She looks very gracefully as this devil is falling. Somebody's losing their power. Some sort of devil could be getting exposed here. You're fully in your power with this magician and eight of coins energy. I feel that you are really focused on like work, finances, career. You're really in your power, which is beautiful with this king of wands here. All right, let's get more. Wow, the star card. So there's definitely a wish fulfillment, like a healing that's taken place. That could kind of be what's going on for you too, Aries. Let's get advice. Um, you could be where you are. Wow, four of wands. I'm going to flip that up, right? It wanted to come out reverse, right? But I'm feeling it both ways. You could literally be walking away from some sort of foundation. That's why it was coming out reverse. And if you look, she is walking away. But what I feel is that you're walking into a new foundation. That's why I'm going to put it up right here. See, Nine of Swords, you've been under a lot of stress and, and sleepless nights and worry about this um, stuck situation. And that's why I'm getting that. That's why you've kind of been in stuck in this situation because when you're, when you're constantly thinking about something over and over and over again, you don't often see the way out. You actually see blockages. That's all you'll see. 
So it's like, you know, like when you stop looking for something, that's normally when you find it, when you stop giving it energy. And so that's kind of what I feel like has happened. And that's kind of why I feel you put those pentacles down because it's like, you know, that healing needed to take place and you, you just, you couldn't see the right way to go. Right. King of swords. Yeah. See, I feel this is your energy too. Um, where now you're, you're strategizing, you're planning, right? For some of you, you could need to be healing your heart at this time because this is where you're really good at being um, focused and strategizing and going after and planning. But that's why you needed to heal too. Maybe you realized that you weren't putting your heart in something. You are constantly thinking of the most logical approach or something like that. Um, yeah, two of two of swords, see, head over hearts. Like for a lot of you, like you were so focused on like the best possible outcome. You were so focused on like being logical and doing things the way you should, the best outcome. But you're realizing maybe that like your heart wasn't in it. Like, wait a minute, like you're starting to realize that this is really not being that fulfilling for you. Like if you're not going after your heart's desire, something is not really gonna be fulfilling for you. So this is where you're you're making decisions, right? And for some of you, it's turning your back to people's situations, you know, but I'm getting that you needed to take some time out to heal too. And I kind of feel like that's what you're doing at this time. Nine of wands here. This is fast movement action. What I'm getting is once you decide this, Aries, you're going to be making fast movement towards it. Passionate, exciting, adventurous, princess of swords. Wow. Yeah, this is where you're strategizing you know, you're gathering information, you're collecting it, you're, um, <laughs> you got an eye on what you want, Princess of Wands, wow, um, these came out in the Leo reading as well, we had the Princess of, of, um, was it the Princess of Cups, and it was the Princess of Wands came out in there, Four of Wands came out, the Star, um, so you might want to take a look at the Leo reading as well, or you could be maybe connecting with another fire sign here, um, that's got Leo placements, but look, the devil came out here. Well, this could be an influence. All right. I'm more getting it as like, once you go after this, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of passion and less. It could almost be like, you know, it's like that obsessive energy, but it's a good kind of thing. It's like, once you realize you want something, you're going to keep thinking about how to go after it, how to get, it. and it's because it's so exciting for you. So I don't feel it as a bad devil unless you fully let it consume you and, and turn you dark or whatever. But I don't think that that's going to happen. Um, yeah, yeah, because, you know, you're just, you're, you're really focused and almost kind of like obsessing on this because you want it <laughs> so much. I mean, that's beautiful. It's because there's the moon card here because you don't know... There's so much of that's unknown about it, but it's a higher level too. So it's really exciting for you because the full card is a higher level of ascension. And you feel that like, you have this new awakening now. You realize you're able to pull yourself out of a stuck situation. So you know that excitement. It's kind of like, whoa, like I'm not stuck anymore. I kept getting earlier, um, the, the boy from Home Alone, the one when he realizes that he's not scared anymore. And he's like, I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not afraid anymore. But then he really did. He, he amped himself up, but then he got scared and he ran away. Like, I'm not saying that that's going to happen, but that was playing out for me this morning. I kind of felt it's my energy. I don't know. But then um, that came out again for you. So I don't know. Maybe you're mirroring somebody do. I don't know because I don't know. Whatever. So don't let the devil fear you or whatever. Like I feel that once you get in this empowered energy of not having fear anymore, not being scared, you could have something come in and test you. That could be that too. All right. So um, but yeah, the moon <laughs> the moon is very beautiful. I love the moon at so much. And look at the enlightenment. That's why I was seeing like the duality and things like that. If you could be mirroring somebody. They both have enlightenment here, light and dark. Um, those two are looking at each other too, like they've met their match. <laughs> this is so beautiful. 
something about fairness look at this abundant new beginning oh my my oh my six of cups this could be like a past life connection um there could that's why it could be like a familiarity too because it's like they're looking at each other like dancing like wait a minute it's like walking by but then it's like wait a minute do i know you wait 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 like what's going on here there's more to the story and that's why this could be really exciting um too Wow. <laughs> All right. I need to leave this one here, Aries. I'm at 10 minutes. 10, 10. I just seen you could be seeing 10, 10. That could be confirmation for you as well. But I'm sending love and light to you. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you have not. I love all my new subscribers. You guys are helping my channel grow. Thank you so much. Um, and always feel free to comment, like the videos. I love emojis. So you can feel free to put those below. All right. Love you, Aries. Bye.